Hey kid, hey, come here. I'm playing right here in the hot house. My name is Jason Faulkner. Check me out, you fool. There are definitely upsides and downsides to being by myself. The um, the downside. Let's start with the negative. Um, it's just like, especially on this last album, I started feeling like the kid that nobody would play with anymore because he's like hogs all his toys, you know, and like won't share his dump truck in the sandbox. Like pours it on the other kid's head all the time and stuff. I started feeling like that guy. Um, and it's my own doing, you know. So I just started really desiring working with other people and like maybe putting together some sort of super group for the next album of just people that I really respect. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's just kind of, um, it gets kind of lonely actually. But I brought in Nigel Godrich who did the Radiohead record to sort of co-produce this and be my, be my my brother on this record, so that was that was cool. It was different than the last one in that regard. I've always been in search of the greatest, the great pop song, you know, the great, especially the great undiscovered one. And I've I've gone down so many different roads trying to find, you know, the the, the missing link of it has to have a certain amount of, I mean, to really meet all my criteria, it has to have a certain amount of urgency, um, which I got from a lot of that late seventies English stuff. Which I totally delved into, delved into at the time, uh, and uh, it has to be obviously uh, very melodic and uh, have a great lyric um, and cool playing that's not too, not overdone, not you know, not not te not too technical. But uh, I don't know. There's just all these things that I'm looking for in a song, so I'm kind of like writing what I'm looking for. I'm trying to stretch the confines of like a pop structure, you know, because I mean, I don't think my stuff always takes you where you expect it to, to take you. And that's, um, that's just because this format is so old already. I mean, it's really young in the history of Madden, but, uh, but it's young, uh, but it's old and because so many bands like took it so far, you know, they covered so much ground, Beatles and Zeppelin and, and, uh, many other people, Costello, uh, just covered way too much ground and I hate them for it. I started classical piano really young um, and started taking, doing it very seriously and, and sort of competing uh, with, you know, with piano you know, before I was 10 um, and stopped when I was about 16. Uh, and I stopped because I like, heard all this, I heard like the buzzcocks and stuff like that. When I heard a lot of this music, like Why Are the Buzzcocks, uh, Monochrome Set, um, Soft boys, the you know whatever. Um, that's kind of when I knew I had to make a choice. It's like to go down this road that everybody's been path, that everybody's sort of cleared out for me, which is piano, and um, you know really regimented, um, playing other people's music, interpreting other other music, or my own. Yeah, I've always been fascinated with just a uh, succinct statement in a song. You know, and not something that's too long-winded, um, and uh, so I guess yeah, the classic definition of pop. I mean, pop means so many different things to so many different people. You know, it's like, like a producer. What does a producer do? It does a different thing for Mariah Carey than he does for uh, Elliot Smith. You know. <laughs> 